Hey kid, welcome to Kid Time Storytime. And I know that these days have felt really strange for you. You've been home for what feels like forever. You're not seeing your friends, you're not going to school, and you may be feeling a little bit scared about everything going on. So I thought that all of us, you, me, the puppets, the grown-ups, could all use a little spot of courage, a story about being brave. Oh, oh, okay, well, basically, I'm not gonna need this story because I am super brave, so I'm gonna go, wait a minute, Green Bear. <gasps> are you telling me that you are never scared of anything? I don't wanna talk about it. So, I have some news for you. What? You know I don't wanna talk about it. I know, but will you hear me out for a moment? <clears throat> okay. Being brave does not mean that you never feel afraid. What? That's right. People who are brave aren't brave because they never feel fear. They don't. They do. They do feel fear just like everybody else. Everybody's afraid sometimes. <laughs> Hold on. The reason that, that they're brave is because they feel fear, but they're courageous anyway. Wow. You just blew my mind! I know, but it's true. Oh, is, is it okay? You know I'm super brave! Can I sit with you while you read the story? Mm hmm. You want to sit right here by me? Yeah. See? Everybody feels a little bit scared. And, you know, we keep hearing this word coronavirus. It's scaring a lot of people. I, I, I admit, I am that scared to admit that I am scared. Yes, Doug the Dinosaur, you are always very, very open with your emotions. And my love of scratches. Yes, I know. And I am scared because I don't know if anybody that I love will get sick or if I will ever get to play with my friends again or go outside and do all the things that I used to love doing and uh, you know, stuff like that. I know, I know. And you know, everything will one day be back to normal and hopefully one day, think about this. What? One day, kids are gonna be watching this story and there's not gonna be a coronavirus anymore. And it's gonna be something from the past. And you know why we're gonna have won that fight? Why? Because so many people out there were courageous. Oh, wow. Oh, that's incredible. I, I want to be brave too. You wanna to sit? Next to Green Bear and watch the story? Yes, please. And then more scratches? You got it. Yay! All right, ready? I think we're all ready for a little spot of courage. Here we go. I'm a courage spot. Hey, courage spot. I'm here to help you do something that is challenging or difficult, especially when you are afraid. You might see me when you are brave too. Hey, hey, I, I thought superheroes were the only ones who showed courage. How can I show courage? Good questions. You might have thought of superheroes when I said the word courage, but here are some real heroes who grow their courage spot every day by keeping us safe. And who do we have here? Members of the military. That could be the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard. Here we have the firefighters who charge in and save the day and save people in distress, the police who protect our streets and our lives, and of course, the doctors. They are big heroes, and right now, we know that more than ever. You don't need to wear a cape to have courage. Courage is inside all of us, and we can do small or large acts of courage every day. Now, you don't need to wear a cape, it's totally true. Storyteller happens to have one. It's also true. You can make one out of any blanket or towel. Also true. You may not see the effects of your courage right away, but I can tell you that every act of courage, big or small, makes a positive difference in this world. That's why we want to grow our courage spot as big as we can. One way we can do this is by creating courage cards. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Reading these cards provides inspiration to do more acts of courage. So every time you do an act of courage, write it here. 
huh, that's an interesting idea. Let's see what kind of ideas they have in store for us on the next page. Courage might look heroic on the outside, but on the inside, it may feel like worry or frustration. Oh, that sounds familiar. Courage isn't something that makes us not scared. Are you listening, Green Bear? He nodded. It's something that helps us overcome our worries. See, look at that right here. We're looking a little worried, looking a little frustrated. In addition to your courage spot, your confidence spot will be able to help too. The more you believe in yourself, the easier it will become to show courage. Try repeating this to yourself every morning. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Do this with me. I will have a great start. I will have a great start. I will listen to the voice inside my heart. I will listen to the voice inside my heart. I will let good thoughts inside my mind. I will let good thoughts inside my mind. And tell myself I am brave, I am loving, I am kind and tell ourselves, I am brave, I am loving, and I am kind. And I know you are. You already know all this. I know. Why do I know? Because you're a kid time story timer and we talk about it all the time and I know. There are times you might avoid a safe situation because you are worried or scared. Now that's when your anxiety spot grows a lot and it doesn't make you feel very good. No, sure doesn't. That's why you want to try and grow your courage spot every day. Let's see, here we have the courage card. I was worried before I went to the party because I didn't know that many people. There she is looking worried, but I ended up having a great time. So that's the courage card, a reminder that you can face your fears. Let's look at some times when you both wrote your courage cards. Like when an accident happened and you had the courage to be honest. Oh boy. Right there. See that accident right there? I told my parents I broke the vase playing soccer in the house. Now I realize you might pronounce it vase and that's all right too. What's not all right is to lie or accuse somebody else like your little brother of doing it or, or the dog. You know what I mean. You know, the standard go-to excuses. Better to be honest. Courage card. I went to the doctor today and I wasn't scared at all. I even got a sticker. Or when you were both scared at the doctor's office, you learned that doctors are there to help keep you healthy and you both had courage to stay calm. Courage card here. I was a little scared to go to the doctor's office, but the doctor made me feel better. Oh, and the little box here has some good advice. Cover your cough. That's important now more than ever, but really always because flus and colds and everything, <coughs> that's how it gets around. Remember when those kids were laughing when someone fell and they tried to get you to laugh too? You knew that was wrong and you had the courage to say no. Hey, are you okay? That was a rough fall. Let me help you. Courage card. I didn't follow the crowd. I helped someone in need. I really like that one a lot because that's really hard for you kid to, to not do what all the other kids are doing. That's a special kind of courage and it's born out of kindness. You did a great job helping the new student feel welcomed when no one else did. You had the courage to be kind. Hi, you can sit next to me. Oh, look at that. And she's, she's walking around with her anxiety spot, but it's gonna make her feel a whole lot better. And that she wrote on the courage card. I was kind to the new girl in school today and showed her around. Those clothes you had on yesterday were pretty awesome. It was great to see you had the courage to be who you are. Courage card. I wore my favorite outfit even though it didn't really match. Courage card. I wore my favorite bow tie today even though I was worried my friends wouldn't like it. That's right because anytime you are a little bit different you might face some teasing but you gotta be courageous and know that you are who you are. When you had to get up on stage you first wrote out your worries before the event and that gave you the courage to manage your emotions. Courage card. I sang in front of a large crowd for the first time. Hmm. 
that's always exciting. And now because she faced her fears and got up there and did her thing, she has this incredible memory and you never know, she might become the next superstar. I saw that you had a hard time learning a new skill. <laughs> it's hard. You had the courage to be resilient and try again. Courage card. Art was really hard, but I kept trying. <gasps> and look at that. Got a first place because he kept on trying. All great art starts with a scribble. And the writer of this book knows because she's an artist. I was proud to see when you shared that you didn't understand. I bet you helped out other kids too. You had the courage to ask questions. Courage card. I asked the teacher for help today. And let me tell you a little secret, kid. Are the adults not watching? Okay. Even grown-ups get scared to ask questions. You know why? Because they're always afraid they're going to look a little bit dumb because you don't know the answer to something. But the truth is, is that we all don't know the answers to everything. How are you going to know if you don't ask? So it takes courage to know that the only way to find out stuff is to risk looking like you don't know something. Did that make sense? I hope so. I saw how intimidated you both were trying out for the basketball team, but you had courage to make friends and try something new. And our courage cards say, I tried out for the basketball team. I tried out for the team again. That's the never giving upness of it all. Do you remember when you were learning to tie your shoes? Oh, way back a long time ago. Yeah, I remember that. Even though you were frustrated, you had the courage to keep trying. This is hard. I can do this. I did it. Courage card. Tying my shoes was hard, but I didn't give up. That's right, you didn't. Riding your bike was pretty challenging. You fell a dozen times, but you kept getting up. You had the courage to persevere. Persevere, big fancy word for keeping at it, just keeping going on. You persevere means that you don't quit. Courage card, I learned how to ride my bike. Da -ding, da -ding. I was so excited when you finally realized scary shadows were not scary at all. You had the courage to manage your fear. Courage card. I could sleep without my light on. Courage card. I had fun making shadow puppets in the dark. Oh, that's true. Bonus of not being afraid of the dark. I was happy when you discovered that your taste buds are constantly changing. What you didn't like to eat last week could be your favorite food this week. And why? Because you had the courage to try new foods. Courage card. I tried red bell peppers tonight and I actually like them. Hey kid, me too. Courage card. I tried papaya and it tasted yummy. Ooh, sweet tropical fruits. Excellent choice, kid. I was delighted you were able to take small steps to achieve your goal. You had the courage to try. I was able to make it halfway on the monkey bars. Woo! I was glad you were determined to find the owner of the item you found in the park. You had the courage to do the right thing. See, there is lost watch. Oh, found the lost watch. Courage card. I found a watch and then looked for the owner. The courage to do the right thing. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all those courage cards. Try reading them throughout the week to inspire you to do more acts of courage. How can you show courage this week. Oh, how can we show courage this week? Well, let's see. Storyteller, what did I do to show courage this week? Well, as you know, I'm taping this when we're in the middle of the coronavirus. So I had to be courageous and tell friends that I couldn't see them and that they couldn't come over, even though I wanted to see them and they wanted to see me because it was safer to stay apart doing the whole social distancing thing so that I don't accidentally make them sick and they don't accidentally make me sick. But that took courage because I thought they might get mad or feel rejected, AKA sad, because I said that they couldn't come over. But I explained from the bottom of my heart that it was for their protection and for mine and they understood. 
So see, I was courageous this week in doing something. And, and I'm courageous every day too. Yeah, tell me how. Well, I, I learned how to do stuff on my computer for school in a whole new way that i never done before. Even though I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be good at it because I like to be good at everything. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I know. Ah, uh, so, and I'm gonna continue to be courageous by staying at home even though I wanna go outside really badly. Ah! Takes a lot of courage to be stuck inside a house with an anxious green bear, I'll tell you that. So I want you to find your spot of courage and be brave and be helpful. Can I get that scratch out? Yes, yes, there you go. And to, you know, help at home if you can, like, like, by how? Oh, you know, Doug, the things that you do, you're kind, you're helpful, you pick up your dishes and your and your toys. Yes, that is helpful. Yeah. So you take off some of the stress from your parents if you do that. And and you you do all your homework without having you know your parents get mad because you're not doing it. That's a way of being helpful and, and courageous because even though you don't want to do it, you're facing your fears and, and fighting through stuff. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that. And also, I can be courageous by helping, uh, like, stay inside. Is that being brave? It is being brave. That is actually one of the very powerful ways during this massive virus of being brave by staying inside even though we want to go outside. Yes, yes. And remember when you wanted to go outside before and I said no? Yeah, yeah, because everybody was still outside. But I did not want you to accidentally get sick. Right, right. So I had to be courageous and tell my friends no, even though some of them were still outside. But now we're all inside. Exactly. So I hope that you found your little spot of courage and good ideas on how to be brave, like Doug the Dinosaur is brave. <laughs> and me, and me, and me, I'm very brave also. I hope that you are as brave as Green Bear, yeah, and as kind-hearted as Doug the Dinosaur, yes. And we'll see you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time.